Speaking of Jason Tatum, he is joining us now uh, live on the set. And, of course, what we said, Jason Tatum, he talked about his overall game and what he's been trying to develop in this postseason run. There's been a lot of questions about, oh, Jason Tatum, your shooting percentages, not what they have been in the past. Your scoring, not what it's been in the past. So, Jason, as I say this, as you're getting mic'd up and getting ready for this, I want you to think about this for a second, right? Kudos to you. We've talked to you for the last four or five years and watched your game develop. But tell us again how important the defensive end has been for you, making sure you get your teammates involved before you have a scoring night like you did in this game three in the finals. Yeah, uh, I talk about it all the time. We we've, we've been to this point and, and and we know what it's like to lose. Um, so just getting an opportunity to get back um, and having a mindset of everybody's going to do whatever it takes every single night for us to have a different outcome. Um, and w whether that's having a big scoring night, um, leading the team in rebounds or whatever, um, or you know, guarding a big or a guard, whatever you got to do, um, everybody's just on the same page. And, uh, you know, we're having fun doing it. Well, we in Boston? Damn. <laughs> Chuck, they're, they're cheering for Tatum. I know, but it's, it's, it's a lot of North Boston down here right now. They travel deep. Hey, Jason, you know, it's been interesting watching these uh, foods on television for recently talking about who's the better player and Jason Tatum is Jason Tatum. Did that frustrate you? Because it makes me mad because the most important thing is actually to win the game. And we always say we don't listen to television, but we lie. We do. No, for sure. Has it been frustrating for you? Like, yo, man, let's just win the championship. Uh, I don't frustrating. I don't know. Has it? Has, have I heard it? Absolutely. Uh, and you know, you, early early in your career, you know, you get all the points and the stats and the individual awards, and then they say you haven't won, and now you're in a position, uh, you know, to win a championship. Now they say you're not putting up numbers. <laughs> you're not scoring enough. Welcome uh, to the media, brother. For sure. <laughs> but like you said, um, it, it really just comes down to I've been here before and I know what it feels like to lose, and I never want to feel like that again. Uh, and just doing whatever it takes to, to, to win the final. Uh, Jason, take me to just the first quarter, your mindset. It seemed like it was totally different. It was attack. It was downhill. Uh, no jumpers. Everything to the bucket. Yeah. Uh, you guys know playing in the league, um, that first road game is, is tough, right? You know, they're coming back home. They feel good in front of their fans. Um, and as a competitor, my favorite game to play ever, always is game three in the playoffs. I love that first game. And, Feeling like your back is against the wall in a hostile environment, uh, you know, and just wanting to set the tone for the rest of the guys that, you know, we wasn't going down without a fight. And, and Jason, that first quarter, they came out, they kind of hit you guys early. You guys kind of weathered that storm, got back in the game, evened it up. And in that third quarter, I mean, you guys, mm -hmm. it was as good as I've seen you guys play uh, in, in a while, just defensively. Uh, holding to the 19 points offensively, the ball moving around. Were there any adjustments at halftime where, uh, as a team that you guys made or anything you might have done uh, to help with that, that blitz or that, that just incredible performance in the third? Right. Uh, and we knew to the game that they was going to start off and, and come out swinging, and it was our job to take that first punch and, and, and respond with some punches of our own. Um, and we just talked about halftime. Let's be the team that come out and punches first. Um, and knock them back on their heels and, and just keep going. Uh, and we did a hell of a job doing that. One win away from winning your first championship. You were here two years ago and you came up short. How did that motivate you to get back here and to be in this moment now? Man, it's losing, losing the finals is the worst feeling it's awful. ever. Um, and it's, it's never a guarantee that you're going to get back. And last year we realized that we may have take thing, taken things for granted. Um, let some series go longer than they should have and end up losing in the conference finals. And that was a wake-up call for us that, uh, you know, just because you have a good team, there's no guarantee you're going to get back to the finals. Um, and really just honing in on this, this opportunity that we have um, and trying to make the most out of it. You know, when you talk about Duke, one of the greatest basketball pros of all time, Christian Leitner, he's on the Mount Rushmore. But are you and Zion and Bobby Hurley, y'all like next on the Mount Rushmore, right? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> It's definitely, it's definitely my man G Hill over here. See, I'm, just, I'm just trying to catch up. See, Jason, see the media, they try to divide. Sure. They try to divide and conquer, man. Divide. Jason, since we talk about college, my Spartan, Xavier Tillman, tell me what he did tonight. He hadn't played a lot, but, you know, no Porzingis. He stepped in. He doesn't have the stats, but he had a, a great game. Man, you, you can't say enough about the, the role players that we have on our team, uh, the guys that 
we call it the stay ready group. They never essentially know when they're going to play. Uh, but, you know, when guys go down the weekend then, and plug and replace at any given time. Uh, and, you know, I had a big game, JB did, but we wouldn't have won this game without X, right? And, and understanding that it takes a collective effort through a finals run that you're going to have guys come off the bench that are going to give you a spurt throughout the game that, that is going to, you know, help you win. Two great programs. Auburn, not so much. <laughs> well, we better, well, first of all, we made it, we've been to the Final Four more right. recent. Grant, go ahead. I think. Tangent. Uh, I don't think so. It's not, that's, that's not verified. <laughs> no, it's not well, verified. Well, we, we, I, win it, we I, win in 22. Hey, hey un underdog's not here. I don't know anything. <laughs> hey, 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 Jason, I'd be remiss. I got to ask you about Drew Holiday. Hold on, man. It's, it's not one, question. two, one. It's one, two, three. But go ahead, Chuck. Go ahead. Chuck go ahead. trying to win finals well, MVP. No, 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 no. You got it. You got it. We got because Steve was just talking about, man. It's a pleasure and a privilege to watch him play defense. What had he, he meant? Because he's, other than Porzingis, he's the biggest difference in y'all team this year. No, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how they let us get him, but I'm so happy that, that we got Drew on our team, and we're just very fortunate. Um, and he just he just makes winning plays. He's obviously been here and won the championship. Um, and more than anything, he raises everybody else's level on defense, right? Um, on a team like we that we have, you don't want to be the weakest link on defense, right? We all take pride um, in, in guarding our yard. And it starts with Drew Holiday, and we all just trying to match his level. You know, Father's Day is coming up, so we got to <coughs> show the moment. You always have your son with you on the floor, on the court. You're definitely going to have a special weekend with him this upcoming weekend, huh? No, absolutely. Uh, it's, the, it's the best thing, best having him here, being able to share these moments. Uh, you know, I, I love it. All right, Jason Tatum, we appreciate your time. He's going to be about 6'11". <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know he's going to be able to shoot and get buckets. That's right. one thing we know. All right, Jason Tatum, appreciate your time. Thank you for spending some of it with us. Uh, good luck the rest of the way. One more win. Yes, sir. Appreciate don't let, don't let Chuck come between us, man. <laughs> no, I'll be sure. <laughs> My, I forgot about Mike Jemisky. <laughs> All, right. All right, Jason. Right. Uh, Luka Doncic, we're going to hear from him. Mike Jemisky. Coming up next. Hold on. Game time at the finals presented by YouTube TV.